In this video, we're going to write a really simple Python program, which will return true or false if two given integer values are equal or their sum or difference is five. It's a lot of words there, but <clears throat> essentially what we want to do is we want to see if um, one, these two integers we're giving, if they're the same one, if they're not, you know, it's going to return false or true. Uh, if they're equal, I'm sorry, or if they're sum or they're different, so sum add them together is five, is going to be true, or if the difference between them is five. A lot to go on there, but let's let's kind of break down what our goal is. <clears throat> so as I said, let's create a we're going to create a function. So we're going to call it, create a function. We'll call it test numbers, okay? And again, since we're going to be taking in two integers. Let's create those two values now. We'll call them A and we'll call it B. So these are gonna be the two integers that we're taking in. Create our function. And what exactly are we we're trying to do here? So we wanna see, first of all, if the values are equal. So let's create an if function. So if this has happened, what's gonna happen? So if A is equal to B, okay? So that's gonna be our first part of it. Or what else are we looking at? Well, uh, their sum or difference is five. So how can we check the difference for it? Well, let's create what we could do in theory, if we're looking for difference, we could do a minus b, right? But that could give us a negative value. And I mean, we wanna stay away from that. Those negative values might mess up our program. So instead of just doing a minus b, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the absolute value. So abs of x, not x, sorry, of a minus b. And so that absolute value, regardless if it's positive or negative, is gonna come as a positive value, okay? So if that absolute value is equal to five, or or the last piece, if this uh, or if the sum is five, which is a little easier, so we're gonna do a plus b plus b is equal to five. Make sense so far? So if a is equal to b, it's gonna be true. Or if the absolute value, so the difference between the two is five, it's gonna work. Or if a plus b, so them sum together, is also five. And what I want to do, if that's true, we're going to return true. That way we know. Else, so if they aren't true, well, what do we want? We want to return false. Okay. Let's run that. Make sure there's no errors. Invalid syntax. Oh, someone has been using the wrong coding language. All right, perfect. So I put semicolon, no errors. Great. So now let's actually test to see how that works. So we're going to do print. We're going to take our test numbers function and let's input our A and B values. So let's say uh, eight and five as our first one. And let's let's do it this way. We're going to copy and paste this a few times and we're going to put a bunch of different numbers in there. But so we do eight and five, let's do uh, two and seven, let's do three three and two, we'll do two and two, so 10 and five, seven and three, and let's go uh, 27 and uh, 50, 50, 59, I guess, okay? So we have all these different values and they're gonna run through this test number function. Let's run it and I see false, so eight plus five and the is not, well, they're not equal to each other. The difference between them is a five and they don't add up to five, which is great. Two plus seven, the difference is five, makes sense. These add up to five, these are equal to each other. 10 and five, true, makes sense. Seven and three, no difference, they don't add up to each other and false. 